All right. Well, if you guys have been paying attention, not under a rock, I'm sure you've seen the Atera hard side camper. One of my favorite production hard side campers, but they just came out with something that is completely new to the market. It's never been done before and it's right behind me right here. So I wanted to show you guys, it's the Atera uh, camper. It's mounted to the, the bedside, it's rail mounted. Um, a lot like all these other toppers, the AT toppers that you've seen in the past. Um, but there's never been a hard side camper that's mounted to the bed like this. So this is the first of its kind, um, huge rear door. I love, love that huge rear door. Um, that just opens the camper up completely on a nice day, changes the game for sure. So of course you got the turnoverland windows, um, same ones you got on my bison camper, of course the AT propane mounts and all that good stuff. But yeah, let's let these guys hang out and then we'll go take a peek up in there got those nice AT aluminum mounts for that easy on awning. So we'll go ahead and take a peek up in here, see how she looks. Nice, hey, what's up? How's it going, man? Good, man. Just shooting a little video of the uh, AT topper. What do you think of this thing? Pretty rad, first of its kind. Wow, look at the, this is like Molly over here. And it's aluminum panel, you can do a lot with that. Yeah, they got tables on both sides here. Um, just like that. Neat. And then, of course, big bed up here. And then a bunk for the bottom. That's actually really neat for the kiddos. Of course, you got to get those custom AT pillows. <laughs> and then, look, we're in a truck bed right now. So, pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of space here. Again, the Atera has... I really like the way that the sidewalls come up. Um, the fact that this doesn't just go straight up and box over means that when you're off-roading and you're leaning into a tree or something like that, this is gonna give you a ton more space. Um, also, you don't really need that headroom. This thing's actually stupid tall. This is like six, five, seven feet it feels. This might even be seven feet. So this is one of the tallest campers I've ever even been in, I think, which is really neat. Um, Got some plugs up over here. Got that strip lighting. Really like uh, the design that's kind of incorporated into everything here. But yeah, I mean, super simple, you guys. There's not a lot to show because again, this is a shell. Um, there is no interior kitchen, anything like that. That's all up to you to build out um, and or not. You know, some people don't need a kitchen. Some people don't need a bathroom, this and that. So these, these options are just real good, real good options to have. Aluminum, uh, composite, yeah, all really nice materials. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. Here, let's show you, let's show you this table here. So yeah, I really like these. That works really good. Hope you guys got a good angle there. And then yeah, matching molly panels, but look at that. Look at how opened up you're. Imagine you're backed up to like a lake or a river or just something beautiful and you get to just see it all right there, man. So cool. So yeah, this is uh, made by AT Overland in Prescott, Arizona. So check them out. So we're sitting on a old uh, dog ram there. But yeah, look at that. So yeah, you can see how it's based off of the Atera, which is a full camper with full interior build. I just did a video on this. I've done a few on that one. Um, so cool to show you guys the topper version. This truck did just get a Boeing Customs flatbed though. Um, so that's really sick. So let's just show, show you real quick. This isn't the floor. They just put this in so people can come in and walk all over it. Um, this is actually a different unit that I showed you the last time though. This has a seat. So that's really neat. And, uh, yeah, the interior layout of this is quite different. Um, oh, I'm so stoked, you guys. I uh, So the Step 22 Stingray bags, real quick, I wanna talk about these. You can see that they wrote very nicely, good handwriting, um, what they got in them. But I haven't wrote on them. A lot of people are like scared to write on them. So Adam from Step 22 came to Expo West with a laser engraver. I just dropped seven patches with them to have them laser engraved. But anyways, this is an awesome camper. Got the wrap on dry toilet. Um, again, if you wanna see a full video on this camper, I'll link that below. 
But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys the first of its kind. The very first hard side bed rail mounted camper from AT Overland. Thank you guys for checking this out. Like, comment, let me know what you think of this new uh, Terra Topper. And uh, we'll see you on the next one at Overland Expo West. The question is, are you down to mob? <laughs> Thank you.